were supposed to get a bunch of rain. Um, it's gonna come in tonight, it looks like. So we've decided to come back out, try to get a little bit more done before the rain comes. Um, we did have a couple of um, uh, girts fall. They were not attached. We detached them in order to um, plumb, that corner, plumb that corner over there. So that was kind of shocking when we drove up. Yeah. And having this section over here that the guys took down, because again, we were plumbing the corners, um, is shocking to me whenever we plumbed Yeah. <laughs> You're like, man, we did all that work and now it's like all undone. Now it's all undone. But we needed to do that to get those straight. Yeah. Um, we definitely should not have put the girts up before we plumbed everything. But there's a lot that we're learning from this build. I also don't really know how, I mean, I guess we connected these down here with just boards because putting in your permanent cross bracing, you need something to put it up against. So uh, that's kind of an issue. But we do have wind. We are going to have clouds. Um, we're really hoping to get the rest of these beams cut so that tomorrow or Saturday we can just be lifting them up and putting them up. And then we have all of our, our cross bracing that goes up here on the top to do. So that would be our next step. Um, we had a fantastic turnout last Friday. That video went out last Monday. If you have not seen it, go back and watch it. Um, it kind of tells you a lot of the stuff that we're doing, we're wanting to do here yeah. on Cusby Camp Farms. Um, our future desires, basically. Um, so, that being said, this, this build means a lot to us because it's building community. I think it's rebuilding our lives in general. Um, there's a lot of healing. There's a lot of stuff going through. I think... Um, our build on Friday, I mentioned that it's literally the first time I've had that many people here that I have not had to recover from with my PTSD, yeah, ever. So, but we're going to try to get back to this. I want to wrap this all up into the one video. We didn't get to work at all yesterday because it was raining all day yesterday and it's actually supposed to rain all night. It'll be clear tomorrow. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Got anything? No. You want to say? No. I'm just ready to proceed and move forward. I have something. I want to get this stuff done. Yes. I am not a fan of Vienna sausages. <laughs> <laughs> and my grandson had them today, and it was like, Ooh. I, I personally like <laughs> that. But Heather's <laughs> reaction to them is really, really fun. <laughs> Look at that, though. That's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. That looks like it might be rain in those there might be some rain in the there, clouds. And it's coming this way. Right at us. And it's super windy, so we'll probably have you on time lapse. Yeah. Enjoy the music. <laughs> <laughs> So we got a quite a bit of rain and of course that erased all my markings. So I needed to go back and remark these so that I could see where I needed to cut. Quite a few of you commented in the last video that I should make a jig and I possibly will be doing that if we don't just move on to straight cuts through here and, and stop doing this uh, connective cut. Um, it would make it a lot simpler, so that was a great tip. Thank you so much for suggesting that. The other thing that uh, was commented on a few times is to just stop worrying about it and make a cut. <laughs> Apparently it annoys quite a few people that um, I'm overthinking this, but the reality of it is, is these beams took a lot of work to get. And if you were to look at the cost of them, I'm sure they would be a few hundred dollars at least if you were to buy them. So taking the minute to try and make the best cut that I can make seems like a no-brainer to me. I've had a lot of issues with this um, chainsaw attachment onto my skill saw. And... Basically, I think what it's come down to is 
you have to tighten all of the screws every time you go to use it. We've had a few of the screws pop out and I think that is what is causing it to not straighten up and, and make a straight cut. It's Right now the cut is a bit at an angle and it's causing a lot of issues and making this a lot harder. I know I just beat my skill saw with a block, but I couldn't, I could not get that to come loose. It's just, I'm just not that strong apparently. It really does amaze me the stamina that, and strength that men have because this has been a real um, eye opener in my level or my ability to keep moving through with my work ethic except for my strength won't let me. Um, that saw is pretty heavy and so wielding it around is exhausting. Um, but I think it's the best thing to make the cuts. It's the easiest thing to make the cuts. Us flipping these logs around, they're very heavy so that's exhausting. Um, and we really do try to get as much done as we can during the day. I know it seems like we don't get a lot done each video or each week. And our week consists of three videos that you guys see. So I think when you add it up, it definitely, we do get a quite, quite a bit done. Um, but if you look at the overall picture, it feels like we should already be finished with this barn, being that we're coming into fall and winter. But I have to step back and, and remind myself that I am 50 and even though I am strong for a woman, I am not str as strong as most men. And, and that really does come into play here. So I'm very proud of us and what we are accomplishing and what we are doing um, and, and moving through even though we're absolutely exhausted. This morning half so clear a light as any To see the horizon and the far Excuses were too for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face Look at this. 
way. Yep. Now the bottom. Now that has to go on before this one. The other thing that I really struggle with here, and I know a few of you have mentioned it, to not try to be perfect, to just make the cuts and put them up, but I really want them to be good and I want the cuts to, to look nice, even though they're going to eventually be hidden behind the plates. And I do need to move past that. I do need to just do the cuts and move forward and, and keep making forward progress. I think it's a mental gymnastics that you go through and after you've done this a few times you don't really do that anymore is what I'm understanding from the people that I talk to of stop trying to be perfect and just do the cut because it's it's not going to matter in the long run my fear is that I cut one too short and it won't reach from post to post and then that beam becomes worthless and then I have to cut down a tree and get it over to the to the sawmill and then mill it out. And we really are probably short logs right now as it is. Um, and I think we're probably not going to do the decking on the roof. We're actually just going to do the framework and then put the metal on. And I really wanted to do the decking, but I just don't have the lumber for it. So it does... Um, make me take quite a bit longer to actually make these cuts and you know I, i'm i really enjoy taking you guys along for the journey and i i really enjoy showing what this is really like when you have very little to no experience and you're figuring it out as you go um, and you're not the typical type of person that actually builds these kind of barns and i love showing that I believe that we all need to have purpose and when you're medically retired and you have this issue that causes your brain not to function as well as it should and you don't have the ability to handle the stress of things as you used to, having that purpose is such a big deal all the way around. And you don't have to just have PTSD and you don't have to go build a barn, but you do need to find purpose. It's extremely important in this life to survive it. Every time I get a step closer to this being finished, I can just imagine um, us veterans up here that are struggling as I have struggled doing things, building things, putting things together, building a community of people that have been there and have trudged through the issues that we as veterans uniquely have to trudge through. And it really truly brings my heart joy. And we've already booked for next fall to have a women's veteran get together to do our Christmas decorations and build wreaths and things like that and I'm just really excited about it. I really want to thank every single one of you that follow us, follow this journey and that support us by watching these videos, by sharing these videos, by commenting. Um, it truly makes a huge difference and 
you know, it's definitely the way to get YouTube to pay for this journey. And I just truly appreciate you. I didn't think it was going to let me do it there for a minute. I just want to wear glasses. It got all fogged up. So it I'm got touched down, though. Hot Good. Head. I don't know how much I like this Prozzi bean cutter. I'm, I'm really like, I like the fact that I can go through big beams, but it has caused more problems than any tool I own. <laughs> and I watched the uh, video on how to set it all up and tighten everything up and it's just I kind of want to get the one from Harbor Freight. They have a, um, they have one at Harbor Freight. I can't remember what what brand it is. I kind of want to get that one and and see the difference. It seems like they would sit up the same, <coughs> but we've only used this a couple of times. We used it last year cutting the the bottom of the beams and they were not perfectly straight. We've had multiple problems with that. Um, and now, and they're not perfectly straight. So, I'm, right now I'm giving that a one. And that's only because it actually cuts to the wood. <laughs> I mean, and it's, it's a pretty smooth cut, but it's just not, I can't get it perfectly straight can't get it to straighten up and do a straight cut it's a little bit tilted and the chain keeps popping off and the chain keeps popping off which apparently is normal because the chain gets hot it stretches and so that is a thing but I don't think we've made enough cuts for that chain to get that hot and it's cooled outside right now so yes, sir, we could not out. we could not bust through all these beams in one setting with that and this we go through the um, the batteries way too fast, so that is a full on bummer. And now I have to do it on that end just so we can get this row done, <laughs> which means we have to flip it a bunch of times and then break it off. There's the or saws use off. the saw. Well, well, the oh, the mini chainsaw. The mini chainsaw. So your cameraman should be fired because that last bit of cutting that off, nothing was video. I pushed video. No, it didn't. So you unpushed video? You turned it off. Ah. Because I turned it on. She I turned it on, so I went to <laughs> push. <laughs> well, I was amazing. Just <laughs> it went smooth. Everything was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Wish you guys could have seen it. <laughs> As we're moving this beam into place, uh, I'm really hoping that it fits well. And once we set it into place, I realized that the inch that I burned off, we didn't add back in. So there's quite a bit of a um, space in between this cut but I do think there will be enough to sit on the post and, and it will all work out in the end. But it was very, very frustrating because what I didn't want to happen actually happened. 
Siding will be on it. We just have to have meat for the plates to be drilled through. The plates are 12 inches, so it'll it'll go from where center is on this, like from there to there, and then it kind of does cover quite a bit, and then there's a piece that goes down, so it may completely cover it fine but it's frustrating when you measure things out I already have anxiety about cutting these and then to have it like be that bad <laughs> I'll get better as I go but this isn't something that I wanted to mess around with I want to figure out how I want to do the next ones different see I like setting them up and then like if we could set the next one up and draw a line, you know, for the center and start measuring off of that. But those ones are really freaking heavy. We have to move those with the tractor. All right, guys, we're going to call it on today's video. Pray for us that we get the rest of these right. <laughs> I'm trying to decide how big of a deal it is to not just do a straight cut for the center of those other posts. The reasoning behind these little lips and stuff is so that there's some meat for the screw to go down into um, to, to attach it to the post, to attach the beam to the post temporarily until the, we get the plates. Um, I have eight inch screws. I could burrow down in four inches and then drill the screw straight down on both of them. That is an option. Tell me what you would do. Tell me what you would do in the comments. I'm actually leaning towards that. Um, I just don't know how long it's going to be for um, the plates, to, for us to be able to get the plates. So this I thought was a little bit more secure, but there's so much room for error and obviously I'm not good at this so yet someday here come the crows all right let me know what you do in the bottom bye